YouTube, how are we doing? Now, the most common question that we get asked all the time is what grout do we use and how do we install it? So I thought I would quickly jump on and do a little tutorial in regards to how we install it. So this time we've picked Easy Joint. We've used this a couple of times now and it is a really good product. We need a brush, we need some waterproof gloves and then we need a little kind of um, trowel to put it in. This is just a, a joint trowel. So then what we do is we normally use a brush, but I'm gonna just show you how we do it. So we bring it along the joint like so. When we get to the end, I can press it and then bring it back. And then, then what we use is the, the, uh, the tool and then we just compress it into the joint. And then as we're spreading it along, compact it into the end again, bring it back. And then once we've kind of worked it around with our hand, then what we do, is we come along with a brush and then we just brush any excess off. Another top tip is always make sure that the ground is really wet. So we've kept the jet wash out, we have it just on low. And then if, the, if you can see the ground drying up a little bit, just soak it again. And what that does is it stops any staining into your natural stone. So I'll just get this little bit in here. Then what we'll do is we'll use the brush just to brush any excess off. So I'm just flowing it along the joints like so. Once it's flowed on the joints, we just compress it in. This stops it coming loose in the future. So some people brush it in. I really like to compact it in with my, with my hands. So I'll bring it on, bring the joint in. So it's all over everywhere. And then we come along with your little joint trowel. So now we've worked this area, what we're then gonna do is brush all this excess into the bits where we need to kind of infill. And then what we'll do once we've done that is we'll just then start here and then continually work down the rest of the patio. So I'll get all this done and I'll speak to you a little bit later on. So the three tips that I'd make sure that you implement when using this product is number one, always make sure that the surface is completely sodden wet. So that stops any staining. Number two, always make sure that you can pack it in. We just use this little tool, we can pack it in, and then we brush any excess off. And number three, always make sure that you've got a minimum depth of 20 mil, because then the, the product will bond together and you won't get any issues with it coming out in the future. These are kind of the best free tips that I've kind of found out by installing this product, but by using these tips, anybody can install this product. Thank you.